observe what is happening here you have seen that when you add water in the ice tray and you keep it in freezer the liquid that is water changes into ice that is the solid form of water and when you leave it in the room for some time it again changes back to the liquid state so from the solid that is ice you get back the liquid water and from water you get the solid form that is ice similarly when you heat water when you heat water the liquid water changes into the gaseous state which is steam so on heating the liquid state that is water changes into the gaseous state and if you allow the gaseous state or the steam to condense it again changes back to the liquid state so if we extract heat from the gaseous steam it again changes back into the liquid state which we call condensation so from the liquid state we can get the gaseous state and similarly from the gaseous state or the steam we can again get back the liquid state which is water now observe another process you add sugar to water you add sugar to water you dissolve it and now if you want this sugar back you can carry out distillation so when you carry out distillation what happens as you heat it the liquid water it changes into the gaseous state it recondenses we can collect water and we get back sugar so in all these changes what is happening what do you observe in all these changes you observe that all the changes are temporary and reversible when we change the liquid form water into ice we again get back water from that ice similarly if we boil water we change the liquid state into the gaseous state again by condensation we get back the liquid state similarly if we dissolve sugar in water by distillation we get back sugar so all these changes are reversible they can be reversed by physical methods also no new substances are formed when the liquid state water is changing into the solid state the chemical composition that is water remains the same when we dissolve sugar in water no new substances are formed sugar only dissolves in water that is there's only a change in state no new products or no new substances are formed also the individual properties are retained sugar is sweet in taste when we dissolve it in water it retains its properties so in these processes the individual properties of the substances are retained and in all these changes the change is only in the physical state the size and the appearance so the change is only physical in nature that is why we call these changes as physical changes so all the examples that we just saw are examples of physical changes in physical changes the first point to remember is the change is temporary it can be reversed so it is reversible no new products or no new substances are formed also the individual properties of the substances are retained and in all these changes the change is only in the physical state size or appearance that is no chemical composition is being changed so such changes are known as physical changes now let's observe some more changes in this we'll bring a magnesium ribbon and we'll burn it so what happens a magnesium ribbon burns with dazzling white flame in oxygen so in this case magnesium is burned in the presence of oxygen so it forms a new substance that is magnesium oxide in this case a chemical reaction is taking place the rusting of iron what happens in this case so when iron is exposed to air and moisture it gets oxidized it forms iron oxide 
and this is the brownish reddish rust that we see so in this case again a new product that is iron oxide is being formed so in these reactions you observe that they are permanent in nature when we burn magnesium we get magnesium oxide so it's a permanent change these reactions can be reversed by only some chemical methods and that too in some cases only they cannot be reversed by physical changes in some cases they can be reversed by some chemical methods so most of the time these changes are permanent in nature they cannot be reversed by physical effects or physical changes they can only be reversed by some chemical methods sometimes also one or more new substances are always formed so you saw that when magnesium burns in oxygen it forms magnesium oxide similarly rusting of iron the oxide of iron that is iron oxide is formed so in these changes one or more new substances are always formed and in these the individual properties are not retained since they are forming new products so the properties of the individual substances that we originally had they are not retained and in these changes there is always a change in chemical composition since it involves a chemical reaction it is permanent it is forming new products the properties are not retained so in these there is a change in chemical composition a chemical reaction is taking place and such reactions or such changes are therefore known as chemical changes for example the burning of coal so when coal is burned in the presence of oxygen it forms carbon dioxide so in this case two reactants are combining to form a new product that is one new substance is being formed this cannot be reversed it involves a change in chemical composition and the properties of these two that is coal and oxygen are not retained we are getting carbon dioxide so this is an example of a chemical change let's observe some changes now try to find out if these changes are physical or chemical in nature you get you make half fry from an egg so what kind of a change is this is this a physical or a chemical change so you know that from any physical method you cannot get back the egg you cannot reverse this change this is a permanent change a chemical reaction is taking place there is a change in the chemical composition the properties of the original egg that we had it's not retained and so this is an example of a chemical change let's take another example you make lemonade that is you dissolve you add lemon to water is this a physical or a chemical change so in this case when you add lemon to water the properties of lemon and water are retained it retains its sour taste no new products are formed only the lemon is being dissolved in water that is there is a change in state and appearance so no new products are being formed this change can be reversed and so this is a physical change what happens when you burn firecrackers is this a physical or a chemical change so once you burn the firecrackers can you get back the original crackers no you cannot so this is not a reversible change this is a permanent change you see the sparks coming out that is because of a chemical reaction taking place new products are being formed and so this is an example of a chemical change the cutting of grass that is the mowing of lawn is this a physical or chemical change so in this case we are just cutting the grass the chemical composition is being retained no new substance is being formed here we are just changing the physical state or the physical appearance so this is an example of a physical change melting of ice cream again the solid is changing into the liquid state there is only a change in the physical appearance 
no new product is being formed here no chemical composition is being changed so this is an example of a physical change similarly the rotting of a banana this happens because oxidation reaction is taking place new product is being formed we cannot get back the fresh banana that is this is a permanent change the individual properties the they are not retained since it involves a change in chemical composition so this is an example of a chemical change so now let's compare physical changes with chemical changes in a physical change these changes are always temporary we can reverse these changes but a chemical change is permanent in nature it cannot be reversed by any physical method it can be reversed in some cases by only chemical means no new substances are formed in a physical change and the chemical composition is not being altered since no new products are formed there is no chemical reaction taking place so the chemical composition in a physical change is not being altered but in a chemical change one or more new substances are being formed that is a chemical reaction is taking place so the chemical composition is being altered also in a physical change the individual properties of the substances are being retained but in the chemical change a chemical reaction is taking place forming one or more new products so the individual properties are not being retained now are there some changes which are both physical and chemical in nature let's see the burning of a candle is this a physical or a chemical change now the burning of a candle involves two changes number 1 you must have observed that since a candle is made up of wax you see that the wax it melts and it resolidifies so what is happening here there is a physical change in state so there is only a change in state that is the solid changes into the liquid state and the liquid again changes into the solid state so no chemical composition is being altered there is only a change in the appearance and in the physical state so such a change is physical in nature so this involves a physical change but at the same time there is burning taking place so a burning reaction is a chemical reaction as it forms new substances that is carbon dioxide and water vapor so these reactions that is the combustion reaction the burning reaction involves a change in the chemical composition leading to the formation of one or more new products so that is a chemical change so the burning of a candle is both a physical and a chemical change similarly the sublimation of ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is a sublimable solid when we heat it it directly changes from the solid state to the gaseous state so observe what happens we are heating ammonium chloride so it directly changes into the gaseous state and you observe that the gaseous ammonium chloride starts to resolidify on the walls of the test tube so in this what is happening is ammonium chloride that is the solid it vaporizes it changes into the gaseous state and this gaseous ammonium chloride it resolidifies on the walls of the test tube so in these two you see that there is only a change in state the solid changes into the gaseous state the gaseous state again changes into the solid state there is no chemical reaction taking place no new products being formed so these two are examples of physical change so since they involve a change only in the physical state so these two are physical in nature but at the same time during the sublimation of ammonium chloride something else is also happening what is that when we heat ammonium chloride there is partial decomposition of ammonium chloride into ammonia and hcl so on heating ammonium chloride there is a partial that is some 
some amount of ammonium chloride it decomposes to form ammonia and hcl and this ammonia and hcl they again recombine to form solid ammonium chloride so when we heat it they change into the vapors ammonia and hcl and they again recombine to form the solid ammonium chloride so in this case what is happening a chemical reaction is taking place leading to the formation of new products there is a change in chemical composition so these two are examples of a chemical change so the sublimation of ammonium chloride is both a physical and a chemical change it involves a change only in the state so the solid changes into the gaseous state the gaseous state again changes into the solid state so that is a physical change but when we are heating ammonium chloride there is partial decomposition it changes it forms ammonia and hcl which recombines to form ammonium chloride so these two are examples of chemical change so now we know what is a physical change and a chemical change let's revise a physical change is temporary in nature that is it can be reversed a chemical change is permanent we cannot reverse it by any physical method it can be reversed in some cases by chemical methods only in a physical change no new substances are being formed that is the chemical composition is not being altered but in a chemical change one or more new substances are formed that is there is a change in the chemical composition and in a physical change the individual properties of the substances are being retained but in a chemical change the individual properties are not being retained so this is how we classify the changes as physical and chemical in nature